So before I get started with the Zerv video, let me just apologize that this video is super late, but I might as well give you guys this video now so that way you guys can be aware of the armor that Zer is selling because it is really, really good. So uh, Zer is in the Winding Cove in EDZ. He's currently selling the Warmind Mars set, which is such a good set for all the classes. I think I've made this video already either for the past season, which is Season of the Haunted, or the previous one, which was uh, the Season of the Risen slash uh, Witch Queen DLC. So this armor set is legitimately one of my favorite sets from that season, aside from the Iron Banner set just because so many of the pieces are very usable and not just for the titan or the hunter the warlocks also have really good pieces so uh as you guys can see from the armor for the warlock i think the chest piece is amazing immaculate i really love it definitely a researcher vibe which is fitting because the armor set is called the break tech researcher stuff so just be aware this is really cool if you want to do some researcher themed sets uh, the helmet's pretty good as well if you want like hose or like mechanical pieces because you do have hose in the back and the neck, the neck if I remember correctly. The boots are also really, really cool. I love the knee cap, the knee like guard thing. It looks really cool. I think the arms and the bond is like the only thing that's kind of like whatever's, but they're still very usable. As for the armor set, let's actually, the mobility is way too high. I probably ignore this one. Same thing for the chest piece, unfortunately. The mobility is just way too high uh this one a lot of things happening uh resilience is at nine which is not bad uh, recovery is at 17 is pretty nice uh i probably would ignore this just because there's a lot better pieces although intellect is at 23 which is really nice uh, if you did want to pick this up you could probably bump up the resilience to a 19 or the recovery to a 27 or the discipline up to a 12 i probably wouldn't do the discipline i would probably just Make sure that I double up on another piece that has more discipline so that way I can equalize it. But head, head is all right. Uh, boots, I'd probably ignore it. Uh, for the armor pieces that I would personally pick up fashion wise, easily the chest piece, the helmet and the boots. I think those three pieces are amazing for the for the warlocks and you definitely will miss out if you don't get it right now. So again, making this video just to be make you aware that this armor set is really good. You should pick it up. Again, if you have enough to get every piece from all the classes, just do it. You will not, you will not regret it at all. So hopefully I showed you guys the shader. I think it shaders really well personally. So as for the Titans, I think the chest piece, arms, boots are probably the best pieces from this set. I think the helmet and the mark are just a little too meh especially the mark i think the mark's the weakest part but the helmet you can still use the only, the only thing that's unfortunate about the helmet is the fact that the plate does not change color uh to be fair a lot of the pieces in this set don't do not change color i'm gonna just i'm just gonna show you the shader real quick just to really show you guys how much doesn't change color so for the helmet the plate doesn't change color it should still be white but then the like yellow and blue insignia does not change color that's going to be a theme uh throughout this whole armor set the chest piece you see the the insignia the yellow or the gold and white like thing on the right side of the chest piece does not change color for the arms on the sides you actually see this yellow box and i think the white uh rectangle at the bottom also don't change color so thankfully that's the only piece that doesn't change color for the arms and you could kind of ignore it but it, if you're like me you're still gonna be aware that doesn't change that that, that that doesn't change color and for the boots same thing as the arms the sides of the shins i want to say do not change color as in the insignia for the mark i think the yellow and white don't change color but the actual blue does change color other than that it's really unfortunate because this is like legitimately one of my favorite sets for the titans uh the chest piece is very usable and a very like good chess piece to use if you want to have like a really big like almost like gigantic look for you like you look like a behemoth with the chest with the chest piece the arms are really good for certain looks that you can do i really i really like the arms your arms are probably one of my more favorite sets but the boots i think is legitimately like one of my favorite boots in the game for the titans i think the tight the boots just scream titan and 
there's just so many things to it. I love the intricacy of the boots themselves, but I also just love the fact that just every piece from this whole set just looks so like menacing and the epitome of what a Titan should look like. So hopefully I showed you guys the few examples, but for the arms, we're going to be 18 resilience. That's that's pretty nice. You'll have a 20 once you master work this. If you put it on recovery, if you put the plus 10 on recovery, you have a 20 on recovery, which is really nice. Oh shit, you'll have a 20, 20, and 20 on strength, recovery, and resilience. That's not bad. I mm, mm, this is mm, damn. I might pick this up because once you master work this, it'll be a 20. And then if you put the that one mod where you get a plus 20 on strength and you'll have a oh my god you have a lot 20 20 resilience 20 recovery and then a 40 on strength i might pick this up mm. fuck it we'll pick it up uh this one's pretty terrible terrible and also terrible uh, i say this because the mobility is way too high and i just rather not waste my time with uh pieces that have high mobility on a titan so yeah hopefully i showed you guys enough uh of the example of just how much of this does not change color but don't let that stop you from just using these pieces because again so many of these pieces are just amazing and for me i just ignore the color outright because the pieces are so good like for example the the boots actually i might as well show you guys since i do have ignore this because this is going to be a for, for for a video i think it's literally going to be tomorrow or tuesday mm, we'll see but the example set is right here. This is this is an old example set that I made like a long time ago. This is an example set that I made for the Ashen Wake. The Ashen Wake is one of my favorite uh, chess pieces for, or the arms. One of my favorite exotics for the Titan just because it makes a grenade really fun for me. But I would most likely switch out the chess piece for uh, this one right here. So that way you can, like personally, I think this looks a lot better. The only reason I have this one on is because uh, the arms are very rounded and I at least wanted something that's also rounded. So again, don't sleep on it. I know the yellow and white don't, don't change color down here, but as you guys can see, when you look at it from this side, you don't see it like a little here. But other than that, it doesn't really bug me that much. So don't let the don't let that stop you from picking these pieces up. I think these pieces are fucking amazing and like probably some of the best armor sets that we've seen uh titans get so and last but not least we have the hunters which i think have the most underwhelming armor i'm not gonna lie like the armors i don't have any of these armor sets unlocked or pieces unlocked for my transmog just because i don't see the point a lot of these are just too specific for my taste aside from the chest piece i think the chest piece can be done can do some really cool things with certain uh cloaks but this is how it shaders it doesn't shader terribly it's just again for me that's just so much cloth that you have to work with which with some pieces it actually does look really cool but again you have to really specifically go for that look if you're trying to go for like a cloth look chess piece is the exception i think the chess piece is probably the best piece from this whole set just because again you can do a lot of things with it which i will show you after we're done uh, looking at the armor so for the arms we have very like Mm. you get a one on almost everything which is pretty cool but i probably would ignore this one personally uh the, the vest is um like almost ones on everything again which is okay very in middle like down the road middle middle of the road um i would ignore this and 24 is aliens what the fuck oh man if if mobility or recovery were just a tad better i would pick this up so hunters let me know what you guys think as for what i was talking about recently uh so i should have made this video already so as you guys can see i am going for like a cowboy look and what's really cool is i saw someone do this i don't remember who it was specifically but they ended up using the chess piece the Bray tech chess piece with the dream bane cloak and it really looks like a poncho which was super cool so again you can do some really cool things with it because the Bray Tech chest piece has cloth right here, which you can really mix and match with with cloaks. And if Bungie ever gives us the option to take the hood off, then at that point, we have so much more options because then you can do some really cool things. Again, like I said, you can do this cool poncho idea. So 
Again, I, just, I don't want to take too much time from it. I just wanted to showcase what the chest piece can do. Helmet's also really cool. I think the boots are super, super cool. I just personally would probably never use them unless I can find a really good look for them. But don't overlook the, the, the set for the hunters. I do think it's really cool. It's just personally me. I haven't, I have, to be fair, I haven't really tried to make anything really cool with it. So it's probably more my fault. But that's not saying that pieces are bad, but and if, it, if anything, I'm saying they're actually good. It's just I haven't tried to do anything with them. So hunters, let me know what you guys think. Uh, as for the weapons themselves, we have Pulse Monitor, Eye of the Storm for Cold Denial, Grid Skipper with Heating Up and High Impact Reserves, which is pretty nice. I probably would pick this up if I didn't already have a Grid Skipper that I actually like. It has a Range Master work, which is pretty cool. I don't know. Well, let me know. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking this one up or not. We have iClose SMG with Pulse Monitor and Surrounded. Man, dude, the moment iClose SMG comes back with uh, the new arc perk, oh my god, that's just gonna be so nice. Time uh, Timelines Vertex with Firmly Plant Elemental Capacitor. This could be really good if you uh, put on the one that gives you more stability. Firmly Planted with more stability. What do you, what's the masterwork on this? Range? Oh, that's unfortunate um yeah nah, never mind the hollow words with quick draw and disruption i'm not even gonna look at that corsair's wrath no i'm not gonna look at that night watch only outlaw multi-kill clip which is, this is pretty nice i actually would pick this up i already have this exact roll, so i'm not gonna pick it up but this is a good roll. i definitely would pick this one up as for the exotics we have hawk moon with surplus which is nice i guess outlaw for dead man's tail which mm, i probably would ignore that one uh, the Prospector, mm, this is a pretty good exotic. I mean, no one ever uses it, but uh, I don't know. It is what it is. <laughs> Orpheus Rig with pretty terrible rolls. Not surprised. Uh, same thing with Doom Things. And same, I don't want to say same. 20 recovery is pretty nice. Uh, Discipline and 11 is also like okay. Like, the fact that you're getting ones on discipline and strength is pretty nice. So at this point, I probably will bump up the resilience or go all in with the recovery. Either way, Crown of the Tempest is actually pretty nice. Very viable right now. Uh, as for the exotic, let's actually see what I get. Probably garbage. Let's be real. Winds and vest. So more garbage. Yeah, straight up garbage. Uh, if this chess piece was used more, I definitely I would be I would have been more excited. So yeah, I do apologize that this video is a little late considering it's already Monday, but I did I did still want to make this video so that way you guys are aware of what's coming out because again, this armor set for all the classes is so good. Don't sleep on it, guys. I promise you, you will regret it if you sleep on it. So let me know what pieces you're going to be picking up. Again, I recommend all the pieces. You might never know when one piece looks really good and you're just going to be annoyed that you didn't get it. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me, links are in the description below. Uh, I have a lot of videos coming up. I have a lot of videos, actually, because I've been doing nothing but editing and going through some stuff. And I'm not even talking about just this channel alone. I'm also slowly building up another channel, which should be up by the end of this week. And that's mainly going to be like other content that's not Destiny 2 related. And I will most likely be streaming exclusively there just because um, streaming really fucks up my analytics. So. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me again, links are in the description below. Thank you guys so much for all the, all the support you guys give and I'll see you guys later.